I'm so sorry for that break. My, uh, <laughs> that's why I don't want to use shortcut, but what's the more me out, you know, shortcut, I'm very conversant with it. So I'm so sorry for that break. So let me continue. Now, for example, I want to do Olushola for rep. You know, I have typed my text, Olushola for rep. But when you check this color now, you will discover that this is not our primary color. This color, if we want to trace the genesis of this color that I use for Lushola for rep, you will discover that we have the genesis of this color from cyan and magenta, which shows that this work, this particular small work that you are seeing, is a mixture of two color work. Are you getting something now? So if I want to print Olushola for rep, what we are explaining, I told you earlier that if you are designing, if your design is for online job, you don't need this aspect. If that is what you want to center on, you don't need it at all. Don't bother yourself to crack your brain on color, all of those things. But for the benefit of those that will be printing, that will be taking it to printing work, that will be taking it to press, that want to understand press, then you need to understand this color, these tips in color. If you want to print this thing and you want to take it to people that will print it for us, those that are impressed, there's need for us to do what we call separation. So how are we going to separate it? Is it that, is it that I will take this Olushola for rep, I will now say, uh, I use color blue for Olushola for rep, but I need to separate it. Let me now bring it out like this. And use cyan because the mixture of cyan and use magenta then they will help me to print it no it's not like that if you do it that way it will not work so how do we separate the aspect of that separation is what make it unique and that is what you can do when you want to print out we are not going into printing out now okay let me just try and do some sketch for you so that you can understand that but i don't have printing machine on this system so we are not going to talk much on that so the aspect of separation we have to do it when we are printing because any work that we are going to use to uh, any work we are going to use in press, we have to print it out in black and white. Don't forget, I have go back to black and white, one color. But this time around, this is not a one color work. This is a job that have more than one color. This is a job that have two or three color. We are still talking about two color now. This is still two color because this is magenta. Don't forget that this four is a mixture of magenta, while this rep is a mixture of cyan and magenta, which is royal blue. So we are still in two color. All of these things that you are seeing here now, they are still two color work. They are still two color work. So if they tell you that we want to do a work, we want to design, and it's going to be in separation, ask them which of the separation. Is it two color separation? Is it three color separation? Is it four color separation? And four color separation is the maximum because we have only four color as primary color. And when they tell you that we are doing two color, okay, as a designer, as a, as a creator, you are the one that will now think which two color can I use to make this work look good. You can decide to use cyan and magenta if they don't give you color. And by default, many uh graphic designer they love cyan and magenta by default because cyan magenta you yourself you can see it here now we have a lot of colors that comes out from cyan magenta than any other one that is why by default we use that so when you now get it that you want to use cyan magenta all your colors that you are going to use they must be a component of that cyan magenta if you are using if you are using magenta and yellow to design your work all your work 
there must be a combination of magenta and yellow. If you are using cyan and yellow, all your design must be a combination of cyan and yellow. So when we are talking about separation, especially two and three color separations, we don't just use any color. We use only colors that fall under the, the primary colors that we are using. So that's why you must first have it in your mind that this, this, this are the primary color I want to use. You must have it in your mind that for my two color, I want to use cyan and magenta. For my three color, I want to use cyan, magenta and black. Those are the color I want to use. When you have those one in your mind, then all the secondary color that you are going to use will be the component of that primary color. When you are now doing four color separation, four color separation, you are not restricted to any color. You can decide to use as many color that you want. As many color that you want because it is four color work. So when you use the, a lot of colors, then your work will still be okay. So in summary of everything that I'm trying to tell you now in color aspect is that when we talk about colors in corridor, in graphics design, we have four primary colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is CMYK. That's why they call it CMYK, the short name for it. And when you are designing a one color, all your one color design that you want to take for printing will be in black and white and you are going to use the component of black and white which we have seen the other time those are this gray color from black to gray from black to gray or from white upward those are the component of one color then if you are designing two color you have to use component of two color either cyan and magenta either yellow and magenta, either yellow and black, either yellow and cyan, depending on your choice. But any other secondary color that you want to use must fall under that primary color. And before I round up this section, there's one thing I want you to understand. In graphics, generally, white is not part of the color. White is excluded. Why is that? Why? It is very simple and it's very logical. One, paper is always a white color. Do you know that? Two, your work interface is also in white color. As you can see, our working area is in white color. So it's not part of the color that we count as primary color. And white also sometimes it changes dynamically sometimes depending on the paper you are using so don't be surprised that when you use white like if i should use white like this on this job you know if i should use it like this let me assume that i just decided to use it you know it is white that i'm seeing now i'm only seeing taping of blue if this is how my work is and when you buy paper you now want to go and buy something like there's a paper they call it Concord paper. Those that usually print letter head, we understand it. Concord paper. It's normally half yellow color, blue color, another color. You now want to go and buy a paper, blue color paper. And you are expecting it that when this solution will be out, this place should be white. It is a joke. The color of that paper. This place we change to the color of that paper. If the paper is this color, that is what you are going to see. If the paper is blue, that is what you are going to see. If the paper is red, that is what you are going to see. Because white is not categorized as paper, as a as, uh, color rather. But majority of paper, or let me say 90% of paper we use, they are white. So if you want to get white in your in your work, then you have to you can make it white and you have to get white paper. Are you getting it? So when you are getting color paper, you cannot get white out of it, no matter how. I don't want to know. I don't want to know how you want to design it. 
if the paper you are using in color you will not get white out of it so have that at the back of your mind that white is not categorized as paper so let's stop here in color i think that is enough for you because if i should continue talking about color there are a lot of things we still need to talk about in color also but with this that i have explained if you have questions feel free to ask in the comments of this video or in the class feel free to ask then we will trash the question out so that we talk about it okay before i round up let me just ship in this if you are designing for online job uh online advert online poster don't bother yourself about all these things you don't need them you don't need them in fact they won't affect your work you can decide to design it the way you like because it is for online but for those that for printing work you must put all these things into consideration